Hey guys, we are in Gage Park here at the uh, scene of a pretty big shooting. We do know that six people were shot, two of them have been killed. We know four were rushed to the hospital, three in critical condition, one with non-life-threatening injuries. And What's going on? It's about life in the shot. I'm your host, Donald Watson. Y'all remember that mass shooting last week at Gage Park? Four women, four men, three men did pass. Their identities have been released. I cannot find these people, their ID other uh, pictures, background, nothing. Makes me think, why was the city being so hush on this? Allegedly, on one of the news uh, videos I watched, one of the witnesses said they believed that house to be allegedly a migrant house. And I'm looking at the names. And I'm looking at how come y'all ain't released nothing else about them. They just released the names. No wonder the city has been so hushed. The 28-year-old John Baez, whatever, Hector, Sio, 26, and uh, I, you get it. My thing is this. No disrespect. I saw some of the comments. No disrespect to migrants. Or anybody coming looking for a better life. Make no mistake, I am not against that. Alright? However, there is a proper way to do it. I do have close friends. One of them in particular. His wife took like eight years or something. And this was years ago. For her to get here. She had to have a sponsor. She had to pay like $2,000 at the time. Which was like three times as much now. Uh, she had to take tests, she had to have a house, she had to go through background checks, she had to go through everything. My thing is this, you cannot just open up the border and let anyone in. You don't, if you can't do a background check, you don't know, are they from a mental hospital? No disrespect to countries, but everywhere, everyone have mentally ill people, have violent people, every country, everybody. Everyone does. And so if you don't know if this person is, and if you got kids, this should bother you. You don't know what that person's background is or what they come from. Allegedly, they opened up some prisons and said, Be get it, beat it. That's less money, tax money for us to end. CWB Chicago released this. Allegedly, according to CWB Chicago, a lady comes home. This was in South Shore. Turning from a Thanksgiving trip, found two migrants in her home with a gun. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. They're going to say two migrants face felony charges in South Shore, allegedly. A woman found them in an apartment. But check this out. The 48-year-old woman, when she returned to her apartment Saturday, noticed the door damaged. She put her keys in the door, swung open. Encountered a man holding a firearm, speaking Spanish in an aggressive manner, like, What are you doing in my home? What? Um, the article also is going to say this, but check this out. They're also going to say that, um, off, that they, um, that the dude, he's, he's claiming this. They found the gun in the trash can, and he's saying, allegedly, that he paid a guy $100 to get into her apartment. Y'all remember that stuff in Colorado where they was accusing people of uh, taking over buildings? According to the court filings, they're saying dude told investigators he found a gun in the trash and paid somebody $100 to get in there. Is that true or not? I don't know. He denied being in the residence when the victim uh, was allegedly confronted by our man. Uh, prosecutors, blah, blah, blah. But y'all get the picture. Very, very, I mean, just wow. As much as we got to deal with on a daily basis in uh, the city of Chicago and across the country, you know, there's a way to do it. There's no disrespect. But let's say if you on the run for homicide here and you could just flee to another country and it's wide open, the border wide open, where do you think you're going? There. What if they opened up prisons here? Where do you think you're going? There. What if you was wanted for this? What if you had that? You out of here. And you could go to the greatest country in the world. Please. They, they, they scattered by the hundreds of millions, actually. Um, But this is... And then Mayor Brandon Johnson and J.B. Prisker, 
put us in a, a billion dollar hole we in right now, but they personally facilitated that 400 billion towards migrants. In the city of Chicago, you get $400 billion and try to tax the hardworking property tax people, but they're going to get you. Oh, they're going to get you somehow, some way. So they're just trying to figure out different ways to get you, but they got to get you. You, uh, property tax people, paying for this. Or just regular taxpayers paying for this. And then now ICE is saying, yo, we got to. We got to take care of our business. And y'all don't want to cooperate with them. They saying we're going to fix your problem you started, you caused. And you say, no, I'm still going to double down. And Prisca, this cat, you're a billionaire. And you want to tax the poor. You don't want to come out a dime. Allegedly, he put took his toilets out of his mansion so he can avoid paying taxes. But you want to tax, how ironic is it that you want to tax the people of Illinois, but you don't want to pay extra taxes allegedly. Wow. Wow, Prisca. And you're a billionaire. But you, are you going to put your personal money up? 400 million billionaire Prisca? Are you going to pay for this? Why are y'all trying to make the hardworking taxpayers Pay for your blunder. And then when they say we're going to fix your terrible blunder, you double down and say, no, I'm not going to let you fix this terrible blunder. Okay. Anyway, I want to bring y'all guys this. What are you doing? Peace, y'all. The city on fire. Ooh, down to the wire. My life in the shy. Ooh. My life in the shine